you guys uh what up i kind of just want to showcase some i don't know fun teams that i'm playing lately and yeah just gonna do like a short casual abyss run no like resetting or like any any try hard super things just like i don't know running through it not having perfect energy for every floor not just one shotting everything just like running through it with normal like dps teams not like reset one shot setup stuff so yeah uh i will just like get you into the the footage into the like a bit stuff and after that i'll go over characters and like the current builds and and so on and so on and so on so yeah here you go with the abyss run and well if you want to know like what artifacts do they have and so on and so on why do i play them stay tuned after this ここ
Okay, yo, welcome back, and yeah, how you could see, uh, it's just like normal kind of abyss shot for me at this point. Um, well, one of the teams I've talked about a lot, a lot, a lot in previous videos, especially like in, I don't know, when I was talking about how do I think I want to build, like, build, uh, I want to build teams around Giant, right? Which is essentially, I don't know, you, you put like some useless whatever artifacts that add up to a four-piece noblesse on your bandit, and you might want to have, I don't know, some high energy recharge and... You put the the highest base attack weapon you have on them, and that is about it. Like my Bennett's artifacts are here. Yeah, this, this is like level sixteen. It's level zero. This is some random HP goblet. It's like horrible artifacts. But yeah, four piece noblesse, high recharge, high base attack weapon. Everything for Bennett shunning. Currently two noblesse, two wanderers. Uh, why you might ask? Um, just because the subsets I have on these artifacts are pretty pretty good. Like, I, I can utilize the Onset Goblet, and, well, this is not great, but it's okay, right? Some recharge, some um, decent amount of crit rate. And, yeah, I want to go, like, over every artifact in detail, but this is, like, Shunling, just, like, high EM stack, and decent crit, rate, crit damage ratio. Now, well, Shunling in this team, right? I mean, it's obvious that you go Bennett. Bennett supports Shunling especially well, because Shunling has very low base attack. Therefore, Bennett's flat attack boost is incredibly powerful on a character that has low base attack. Uses a low base attack weapon in addition to that. So yeah, that's why I usually want to pair Bennett with those characters. Mainly Sing Show and Xianling that benefit the most of Bennett. Now, this team, uh, we don't have <laughs> we don't have Sing Show, but we just go for the Ganyu support as the filler here. Now, I do go for the Ganyu support. H here is like two DPS team, rather, like it's not DPS, it's like two carry team, right? Uh, why do I do that? I just like to play the team. I also do think it's kind of decent because, well, Ganyu does support all the melt damage that a Xianling can do. Instead of doing Vaporize, we sometimes just hit melts. Melts hit a little bit harder, even if you don't utilize your weapon passive at that point. Melt damage is still more damage because we stack so much EM anyways. Therefore, that works well. And yeah, I, I do happen to have the C6 Ganyu, so I just like weave in some melt auto attacks with Ganyu when they are the most useful, right? When we can actually melt the Ganyu attacks. And yeah, after melting the Ganyu attacks, just use Child and Hydra application slash Ganyu's Cryo application while she's not on field to buff Xanning's damage output. Even more so, in reality, it's like three carries, right? But Xanning doesn't have much on field time. Then again, Chunning does insane amounts of damage and is definitely close to equal to what Ganyu and Chai do in this team. Chunning, one of the most under... <laughs> I don't know... Under-expected characters? Yeah, like characters where people don't think they do as much as they actually do, but Chunning is pretty, pretty insane in my opinion. And she doesn't even have the most stacked artifacts here, right? Like, if you want to compare these stats uh, to, I don't know, something like this, something like this, I don't know. Could definitely be better. Now, looking at the other team. Honestly, the other team, I just like started playing it very recently. Why did I start playing it recently? I don't know. I was looking for new characters, looking for something new and fun to play. Then I just happened to, yeah, I don't know, my Beidou. I had enough level up materials and boss materials from farming Wanderers. So I could just put her at 80 out of 90. Uh, I had a leveled weapon for her, right? And the artifacts... The artifacts is just uh, some pieces, right? It's the uh, we we just give her not even set bonus, whatever, but just okayish pieces overall. 70, 144, very decent, super high attack. Well, that's normal with gravestone, right? So yeah, I don't know. Just happens to start playing Beidou, Beidou plus Fischl, definitely really good because electro resonance and you feed energy to Beidou. As you can see, my Beidou's energy recharge isn't the highest, but Fischl, Beidou, plus Syncho, Reaction Spam, kind of makes up for the low energy recharge. Similar, my uh, Syncho, not the super highest energy recharge, could be, could be a little bit higher, would want it to be a little bit higher. But yeah, Syncho also, I don't know, similar thing, just like a four-piece Noblesse, he doesn't have the crazy best good strong artifacts. That's a bunch of EM, basically pretty bad on him here, but I don't know. It's, that's, that's what I mean, like these, these teams are not the most hyper stack teams it's not everyone has perfect artifacts but they still get the jobs done super super quickly now what makes this team good um well in the end you 
Things show applies in our hydro that therefore you apply electrocharge all the time, spam reactions, feed energy into Sing Show and Beidou that kind of do need a lot of energy to work. And yeah, we tell just the carry on field spams, charge attacks, and the charge attacks get vaporized, a lot of extra damage. Yeah, that's like the, the very easy TLDR here. My Hutor build still the one or two wanderers to Crimson. Just because this sands is just like too good. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's going to be very difficult to upgrade to a four piece Crimson for me because outperforming this sands subset wide is so difficult. And obviously, four piece Crimson is a slightly better set bonus than like two wanderers to Crimson, but it only is slightly better. And if you have insane subsets on your Wanderers pieces, for example, like this one, then it's going to be difficult to make up for that. Also, this is HP percent sense. If you do not happen to have R5 staff or former, might want to opt into Elemental Mastery sense for this kind of team setup. If you don't have staff or former, definitely want to go for the EM sense. If you have a R1 staff or former, it's going to be dependent on your subsets. But if there's like a really, really big difference and like the HP sense has insane subsets, EM sense has bad ones or vice versa, just go for the one that has the insanely well substats. And yeah, my well, Fisher uh, Fisher is using Skyward Harp, therefore has like kind of insane stats here. And yeah, I don't know. The piece is not really optimized. Could like everything be a little bit better, right? Everything could be a little bit better. Crit rate, crit damage ratios could all be a little bit better, but um, yeah, I didn't like run all of the teams through a calculator. I kind of just wanted to make quick teams, quick showcase, and also show that you don't have to like plus minus one percent everything. Obviously, this is like at this point of these kind of weapons and stuff. The the plus one to two percent things don't matter for me anymore. But yeah, I don't think the explanation stuff is uh, taking almost too long at this point. Just wanted to give like a short video, short overview over the teams that I like to play at the moment. And yeah, here we go. Hope it was like I don't know, interesting to watch. Maybe gave you guys some ideas for teams to build or stuff to go for. For example, like this whole setup, Sing Show Beto Fisher. You can just put Shanning here. Shanning is like the the I don't know, more or less meta-ish character for the team that we almost want to put here instead of Utah. But I prefer to have Shanning in my other team compare combined with Bennett. But yeah, I mean there's like a bunch of teams you can do based around Bennett, Shanning, Sing Show. Plus one plus Fischl, for example. One Electro to spam reactions, feed energy into... This guy needs energy. He needs energy, right? So yeah, but enough of that. Probably gonna cover more team comms in future videos. And I hope this was interesting and helpful. Appreciate everyone watching and hanging out. And see you guys in the next one.